Good afternoon all. After lots of soldering, I've now got six uh, filter channels in my vocoder project. And it does sound more vocodery with those six channels. The last uh, demo I did on this was with only two channels. But now there's a bit of problem and it relates to the power supply, which is back there. So I'm going to do a recording on the little uh, digital recorder and you will immediately hear the problem. So let's go, let's press that, bring the lights on and actually start a recording. Just waiting till I can hear it in my headphones. There it is. So let's speak to the And we've got problems with the uh, microphone cable. But um, there's the six uh, filter channels working as a vocoder. Now the problem that I'm having with this is that high-pitched whine and I know that it's the power supply but let me just uh, adjust the frequency of the oscillator first. Let's turn the oscillator up so that uh, it runs at a different frequency and uh, yes I mean you can hear what the vocoder does which is to use the tonal envelope of my voice to modulate the tonal envelope of a square wave oscillator. Let's bring that right down to a much lower frequency and it sounds rather alien or robot-like. Now how do I know that this high pitch whine is the power supply? Well this is how. Let's start the second recording. Start that going and when that kicks in Oh, that's a strange sound. That might be my phone. Um, you can hear that high-pitched whine. Now, if I put my screwdriver in one of these uh, voltage adjust pots on the power supply, you, you can hear that as I adjust the voltage, that whine changes. Now, the problem appears to be on the minus 12 volts. Uh, it's at 11 and a half volts, and I can adjust the minus adjuster and it doesn't seem to come up anymore so I think it's struggling and that's not surprising because the minus 12 is having to be generated from plus 12 so it's having to actually invert that. The plus 12 volts I can adjust that with ease and in fact the pot I was twiddling there is the plus 12 volts but anyway it's clear that that wine is coming from the power supply but uh, while it's working let's just do some more vocoder like stuff. Uh, let's take the uh, microphone Put the microphone next to me. Let's turn down this uh, oscillator. Now that's a bit of raw sound coming through there. That's just coming straight out of the mic preamp. And turn on the uh, noise source. So now the tonal envelope of my voice is modulating the tonal envelope of a noise generator. And that sounds like that. And I just want to go back to the uh, tone generator. So I'll go back to uh, this one and I'll actually raise the other tone generator so that we've got two tones. Now I'm not sure quite how they relate to each other. Let me see if I can tune them. Yes, I mean it's very difficult because I can't hear the two frequencies involved. But I think you get an idea that there is some sort of two note chord being generated and my voice is modulating that two note chord. Now I'm just going to turn down the live voice input and you might find it rather difficult to understand what I'm saying. So I said you might find it rather difficult to understand what I'm saying and that's because sibilance, the s and sh sounds in my voice really don't come through here very well. So it works on uh, six filter frequencies. Of course the, um, the next stage will be to build this out to 12 filter frequencies and the finished project is 14 but the bottom one is low pass, uh, the top one is high pass. All these middle channels are band pass and quite narrow uh, frequency bands. So uh, that'll be the next stage to expand it. But then, of course, I'm going to have even more problems with the power supply. 
So the power supply really does need some attention now. Um, that power supply, which was so convenient because it has plus 12, minus 12, and 5 volts, which is used for the LED bar graph, uh, doesn't have the current capability, it seems more particularly on the negative side, to drive this project. Oh, that's a bit of a problem. Well, should we do one more recording and perhaps go to some, I don't know, higher frequencies or something? Let's start the recorder going. Oh, this should be the third file. Yes, that's working. Okay, so let's... Uh, sorry about the microphone. It seems that the rather naff cable on the microphone uh, it has gone a bit, well, microphonic. So let's turn this frequency right up. Oh, that's quite nasty. What's happening there? Oh, I think the uh, microphone cable did something weird. Okay, let's turn that up to uh, a much higher frequency so that I'm now modulating a very high uh, frequency square wave and I can take that even higher still, which sounds really quite weird. Uh, but it, I don't know, I think it, uh, it sounds a little bit better if you take that down to uh, the much lower frequencies. This will go quite a lot lower, but... Uh, it gets to the point where it's just really just um, a very slow clicking, so there's not much to modulate. But uh, bring that back up into a useful range of frequencies, and you get that vocoder robotic sound. And uh, yeah, this power supply issue is going to be a bit of a spanner in the works of this project going forward. Uh, there are other power supply options, but nothing quite as neat as that one so uh, this project may stall for a bit well that's nothing new is it uh, but anyway for the moment that's the six uh, frequency band vocoder cheerio